and I think than the one that you guys had. But it doesn't mean it's necessarily right or wrong. Well, but how do you guys feel about that uh, as far as like what Maurice was saying? I said I think he's he's right, but like I said, I I look at it from a totally different point of view. And what he said is a hundred percent right as far as what we've been through and us not being expressively mm -hmm. patriotic mm -hmm. and you know saying then you don't see many you don't see many flags in front of our houses exactly. Like that. Yeah. But being expressively patriotic, no, we're not. But us being as far as being real Americans. It don't get much realer than that. Hey, like after all we've been we through, are, we still our, hold our this Our ancestors down. worked here for free. Yep. Okay? Mm -hmm. They worked here for free. They had a lot of jobs, and now we have 15% on the Exactly. <laughs> we worked for free. We, our ancestors worked for free. This we country was built on free labor. Made this country. Free labor. And I'm sorry if you're white and you're saying it wasn't me. Man, connect the dots. The benefits you are reaping this. the benefits of this. And if you All say this. you say it's not you, you didn't do it, then I say you're not the smartest person in the world. Because <laughs> connect the dots, man. If you get something for free, you're gonna be able to be well off than when you have to pay for something. Yeah. I mean that's just plain and simple how it is. You got free labor, man. Free labor. Let me get free labor from you guys. I bet you will catch up. <laughs> yeah, I guarantee it. Like Can I, I get said, some that, free labor? That to me is the reason why I say it. I said, we're not outwardly patriotic, but for us to go through what we've gone through and still be here and still try, you know what I'm saying, and still try. I understand where you're coming but from. To be I honest, what you're saying. we should have been had a revolution that took this bitch over. Mm -hmm. If we were, weren't patriotic, we would have been formed up as a group and probably tried to take over mm -hmm. years ago. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about hundreds of thousands or hundreds of... Decades, whatever. Patriotic might not be the word. I guess that you're looking for more so loyal, maybe. Yes, we're loyal to this country, and loyal to this country to me equals um, patriotism. Patriotism. That's fair. And, and even That's on top of that, you want to talk people who aren't patriotic are the people who the, these these white men that are on all these big positions. You know, saying selling secrets to other countries. Yeah. What the hell is that? Yeah. yeah. Even a black man there, that's not gonna happen. I'm sorry. I don't know why. <laughs> I can't tell you why we wouldn't do anything like that, but you never hear about any black dude selling secrets and all these other things. Mm -hmm. That's always them. They're their own worst enemy in this country. We hold this country down from the time we got here and built this whole place mm -hmm. up until now when we finally got to the White House. And through this whole time, the whole our whole existence here, we've been disrespected, kicked, spit at, rights taken, beaten, and we still here and we will still defend this country. There's nothing more patriotic to, them, to me. Nothing. Yeah. Nobody else would do that. Nobody else in their right mind would do that. Hmm. I guess. Yeah, I guess does that make crazy. us fools? Does it make us fools? I mean, it doesn't. It doesn't make. Well, us, it, it does. It, I mean, it doesn't make us fools. I don't think because you can only do what you have the power to do. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I mean, we have been disenfranchised for so many years mm -hmm. that you know it. You, I mean, it's going to be hard for you to do anything. You know what I'm saying? You have to have some type of power, some type of wealth to be able to do anything. I mean, the only way you make money in this country is have money yeah. or have access to money. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I we mean, didn't have that access. We never had that. We still don't. I mean, if I go to a not, not overwhelmingly, no. If I go no, to a don't. bank to try to get money for my business, I, no. I guarantee you it's going to be harder for me to get that money than any, a white person to do it. It is. Hell. It is. Asians is coming over here getting more get money before we get it, ain't they? Yeah. yeah. I mean, come on. But I, I'll make this point. This will be my last point made about this whole thing. Outside of the Native Americans, oh man, I feel like we are the most American people here because you can talk to white people. They know where they come from. They mm -hmm. can go back to Scotland, mm -hmm. Germany, France, and all these other places. Mm -hmm. We're the only ones that are. Americans. We have no idea where we're from. We have no idea what country we've been to. This is what we know and this is all we have. Hmm. That's it. They can still trace back all their roots to wherever. This is our roots right here. Mm -hmm. It begins and ends right here. We have no idea where we're from, so this is what we have. All right. Us and the Native Americans. <laughs> well, with all that said, I want to plug you guys again to the website, www.blackadvancement.com, and go to a black person that you should know. Funny enough, a lot of the things that I'm going to be saying in this uh, are also things that we could be discussing right now today. It's about Matthew Gaines. Matthew Gaines was born a slave in 1840 uh, after he failed to escape slavery two times. He was finally uh, freed with the Emancipation Proclamation after the Civil War, and he settled in Washington County, Texas, where he became a preacher and a politician. 
He was best known for his ad advocacy. <laughs> I didn't say that right at all. <laughs> uh, for Afro Texan uh, rights and addressed issues such as listen, listen closely to this part: public education, prison reform, and the protection of black voters. Isn't that interesting? What year was that? Uh, 1840. Well, that and was when he was born. This is between 1840 and when he dies. And it's 1912, and we're still fighting for the same thing. He was, he was run out of office by Democrats and Republicans and was uh, falsely accused of bigamy now. because, a lot, as you can imagine, a lot of these uh, topics were controversial. However, uh, uh, his loss, the loss of his office did not stop him from speaking out in, in public forums and on all these issues until his death in 1900. We remember and salute Matthew Gaines. Uh, we will be back with my take after this break. Hey, everybody. Uh, this is the last section of the Black Advancement. It's called uh, My Take. Everyone's still here, as you can see. But uh, basically, I'm just going to speak real briefly on all the questions. Should black people feel obligated to vote? I think that because of, as Dwayne said, the history of it, because of how Greg, Greg agreed with that as well, the history of it, I think we should feel obligated to vote. I think it's not only important for us to vote, but it's important for us to vote and, and also get involved, especially on a local level. I think that a lot of times we look at uh, CNN and all these other places focusing on the national level, we can just start getting more involved on our local level. And I'm not just saying that I need to get more involved with that as well. Uh, as far as do you believe your vote really counts, I'm going to just uh, throw out a little story that happened here in Maryland. It was uh, a little bit ago, I think O'Malley was, was running for governor again. And uh, the guy, Bob Ehrlich, I think is how you say Ehrlich, his name. Ehrlich. Ehrlich. Yeah. He was a, he's a Republican guy. No Democrat, Republican. You know, I'm just throwing out the facts here. And um, basically, he had uh, uh, one of his, his higher-ups do these robocalls saying to the inner city uh, in Baltimore saying, hey, you know, O'Malley already won. You don't have to go to the polls. You guys don't have to go to the polls at all. So this, of course, backfired and had more people run out to the polls. I say that story to tell you this, and that's also under our research section on the website. But I tell you the story to say that, yes, your vote really does count. And if it didn't count, they wouldn't be going through making robocalls such as that. Um, the last thing, do you feel that blacks are less patriotic and why? I, I personally feel that, <clears throat> I can't speak for every black person, but I feel personally that uh, black people are definitely less, well, I'm definitely less patriotic. And the reasons behind it are because of our history and because of the way we were treated, because of the way we continue to be treated. As uh, someone else has said from the website, I believe it was Maurice, um, you know, they, they even disrespect the President of the United States. When the President of the United States, who is also a black person, gets disrespected in ways that we've, we haven't seen in probably like 100 years since TV has really been available, um, what more do you have to say? But I mean, honestly, in a country uh, where, where you would think that you could have access to everything, you come to find out the longer you're here that there are limits on it unless you pretty much push it to the limits and beyond it. So anyway, that's my take and I'll digress from there. Um, our next topic is gonna be the first uh, black president, Obama nation or an abomination. We'll be doing that pretty soon. Uh, don't forget to go on Facebook and like us at The Black Advancement and uh, comment on all the topics. But all that said, black people advance. Shout out to Hampton University, baby, you know what it is. Yeah, HIV.